Today I'm going to show you an electric pressure washer by Sun Pao. So this one I got from Amazon for £150. I think sometimes you can get it cheaper if you've got it on screen voucher and they always have discount. On paper, very promising. 2000 volt uh, motor with 165 bar. Now that is a very high claim. I want to test it out and see if it actually works. My Nisfix um, has been very faithful for the last like seven years but it starts to show its age. And one thing I don't like about this type of um, pressure washer is that if you need to drag it around, um, the hose is relatively long enough, but if you do want to go around the car or go around the garden, you keep tugging it and it, it kind of like, because it's standing up, right? It, a lot of time it just fell over. So um, this one, this model I choose have four wheels so you can actually lay flat. So you can put it around. It should be quite interesting. Uh, my video is not scripted, so um, it's just me opening the box, try to use it the first time, um, just to show you my experience. So if you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel and make your own mind up about how good or how bad this product is. Uh, let's open it and have a look. So out of the box, you got your hose, so high pressure hose. Now the color of this um, washer, it might not be to everyone taste, um, is bright, bright orange with black kind of a plastic. It's not the lightest machine and um, to be honest with you, if they claim to have that amount of power, I do expect this to be quite heavy. Plastic construction. It should be waterproof as it state on the as it state on the menu so it can stand upright but the main feature i like about this is that it can go sideways like a cart it does have a extendable handle so if you want to carry it around you don't have to bend over as such it uses a three pin plug um, as we are in the UK. A relatively long cable, which is good. All right, so you come with different nozzles, which I'm going to go through each one of them in a minute. Instruction booklet and the gun with the company logo, Sun Pao. I don't know this company, but at this price, I want to uh, give it a try. To attach the lens is pretty much standard, just push and uh, twist. And that locks in place. It's all click flipped, so you just push it in. And to release it, press the release button and you can pull them out. So um, the pressure hose go to the top right here. Again, it's a push fit button. Now it locks in place. So that is ready to go. The water goes into this inlet right here. And that's where these accessory packs come into play. This is a plastic connector so don't put too much stress on the hose but basically you just twist it hand tight because it got plastic o-ring inside you wouldn't want to over tighten this okay with your hose pipe water inlet um i got a aqua stop here so even though when i turn on the garden hose water won't come out but as soon as i plug this into that it will feed water through which is a really good device if you don't have one it make life a lot easier in the garden okay so now i plugged it in and the water So now there is feeding water into the machine and this is ready to go. I just need to plug it into the power. I'm going to show you over there. Um, I usually use my pressure washer to clean the patio and you do need a very strong pressure to 
be able to take the algae off the tiles so this will be a very good comparison I might fire up the old one just to compare and see maybe give you a bit of a benchmark on how well or how bad this thing is performing now we do have power to the machine right now but this is just kind of a normal water pressure and I'm going to put the nozzle which is the most common one I think is this one let's test that out metal connection which is good they're more durable than plastic now shall we turn it on so the pump turn on for a second as soon as the water heats it until you press the trigger the motor will not turn on anymore this is just one of the safety feature um, let's give it a blast and see how it goes So far so good so as I mentioned uh, the reason why I choose this model is because it's easier to maneuver so if you want to just drag it along because it's on four wheels if I'm going to zoom up a bit so this is what I blasted and this one I haven't cleaned yet okay so this square here okay <laughs> it's cleaning surprisingly well so let's do this one here all right so you got a clean slate right there and <laughs> my initial this is with the pressure washer and this is with that particular nozzle um, let's put on another one and try so you've got a 25 degree 40 degree and a 15 degrees so I'm going to use them all but let's try with the 15 first Okay, so the 15, instead of a cone shape water, it comes out like a uh, spade. Let's try the wider angle one. So this is 40. I guess this one just gives you a wider blade. Yep. So this one gives you a wider blade um, it does make cleaning my patio a lot easier with a wider blade so you don't have to go through it so many rounds let me pick up my camera and see if I can do maybe a close-up You see the difference? So that one, just one pass. Maybe I try to do this one as well now. What an amazing power! Oops, go over to my neighbors. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Um, easy to move over so easy to maneuver this one here is a fair bit bigger than my previous one but this is so much more powerful okay let me switch on the other one the c110.3 i think is 110 bar 
the one that this one here is 140 bar actually no this one is 165 so this one is 165 bar this one is 110 so this one is not as powerful as the sun pal but this is quite old now so let's see uh, just now you see me cleaning those towels let's try this one so this is a similar type of towel It still works, but the other one definitely more powerful. This one here, definitely I need to make sure the nozzle is closer to the ground, like this. You see the difference? So this one, having the nozzle so close to the towel, then you can clean like that. But this one here, I was about this distance with the sun power. So this one, to be able to clean like that, you have to go really close to the ground. still works but you can see it's kind of falling apart already and uh, if I try to drag this one along it probably will just tip over it doesn't really want to be moved and you see <laughs> the cable kind of get tangled up in process of trying to drag it all around 150 pound or less actually because sometimes you've got on screen voucher which I have seen them for a bit less. The only thing is a plastic connector, plastic connector. So if you are to drag this around in the garden, that's fine. Maybe keep it out of direct sunlight. And this one also have a built-in tank. So this is a detergent tank, which um, I might test it out in another video for you guys. But to use this tank, apparently you need to use a different nozzle. So uh, most likely I'll just put a lens foam bottle in the front, which will be a lot easier to use than the built-in tank, but the option is available there. I'm sure, I'm sure there might be a few things that I missed out on this particular product, but I really want to know if it is powerful enough for what I need. And if you are doing your research on buying your own pressure washer, Make up your own mind. And uh, tell me in the description, is it good or bad? So once again, thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. And I'll see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye. <laughs>